What's going on y'all out here back at it with a different type of video here um, so as things start to come towards I guess I shouldn't say a close uh, to my caprice because you know with these cars it's never done but uh, at least coming to the final stages here of, of the build and everything um, and for the most part I'll probably be done with the caprice for the summer uh, just gonna be able to just want to want to be able to just enjoy it for the summer here and I'll probably add a few more things here and there um, you know it's never done uh, but I'm probably gonna start slowing down on the Caprice and now uh, focusing more on uh, my Turbo Regal uh, so for those that you don't know I have a 87 uh, Regal uh, T um, 86 I guess they call them the T type Excuse me, in 87, they just called them a T. <clears throat> but it's a Turbo Regal. Um, basically the same thing as a Grand National. It's just the, the T types so or the T's came in. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Um, just different color options. Uh, basically the same drivetrain, same engine, same everything. Suspension, all that. Um, it's just Grand Nationals came in all black. The T types and T's came in just different color options and schemes and things like that. So with mine and i'll probably post a picture of it here um during the video as well um it's a factory maroon with black and chrome trim um so um from i'm not gonna really do anything to, to the inside i mean i'm gonna leave it stock inside paint everything trim all the same however I've been wanting to get a new grill for it and uh, um, and some headlight bezels. So, um, and I'll touch a little bit more on that a little later. But those are going to be chrome um, to accent my bumpers because they're chrome and a few other pieces on the car. These wheels here um, I got for uh, a really good deal here locally. A guy was selling actually his whole car. He had these rims on them, and I messaged him um, if he would be interested in selling the wheels only. He didn't want to, um, and then I was talking to him for like a month, up and a half, didn't think he would do it, and then he just hit me up out of the blue, said that he would sell them to me for $1,200. So that was a steal. With the tires, I took them. Um, so those are all billet aluminum, uh, Boyd Coddington brand. Um, they're basically the same thing, the same look as the intro. Um, I forgot what the intro I'm not sure if they're called intro twisted or something. I'm not sure. But these are called the twisted twos. Um, oh, excuse me. The twisted two tones. Because um, they're shiny billet aluminum. And then they have the brushed look in the inside of um, the spokes there. So um, awesome wheels. I love them. However, man, they're so hard to keep clean. And um, he had these on his car. And his car was sitting outside, but it was covered up. And if y'all know, uh, billet aluminum, it doesn't rust. However, it will age and oxidize and things like that. And it will stain if left, um, you know, unattended and, and not cared for. So it does have some stain marks. If I shine them up, it actually looks really good. But there's, the inner barrel is really stained. The outside is actually not too bad. I can actually shine them up pretty good and have them shiny. But as soon as I wash them one time or they get wet or, you know, they get dirty and I wipe them down... Um, that oxidation just comes back really fast and I've used all kinds of stuff on there you know the best aluminum polish I could use and it gets them good but it never stays um, and here in Washington you know it always rains and everything so um, and plus the hub the inner part of the bore here um, is actually a little bit tight for the hub on my the front of my car um, so when I when I torque them down and everything um, to mount them on the car um, these are a bitch to get off I mean like today I took them off and it took me about 20 minutes to pull this one off the front because it was like seized to the hub um, so it's just not the correct fit and I love them on the car I absolutely do um, but uh, um, if I ever need to change them or anything like that if I get stuck or somewhere out on the road or whatever it's just gonna be a bitch to get those off um, so I've been teetering with the idea of, of getting, getting some different wheels and a little bit different look. And I kind of do miss the chrome and I have a lot of chrome on my car for what it is. And so I found these um, um, on Craigslist. So just randomly and uh, a guy was just 
posted them that day and he was only selling them for 600 bucks <laughs> um and they're uh they're like signing brands so basically they're like a a sister i'm not sure if they're a sister company but it's basically like a i guess like like a cousin of asante um probably not as nice as an asante wheel but you know the same kind of schemes and things like that and and, and and designs that they use um so they're not perfect however the chrome is actually really good all the black paint in here is actually really really good the dude took good care of them the only thing is here is um i'm not sure what this was before but it, it kind of looks like a brushed aluminum look however it has this like covering of like laminate or something on it and over time he's had them for a little while and uh over time it just started to peel um so and this is just dirt in here it's not rust so my thoughts were um and this is what i'm gonna do is i took a red scotch bright pad to it um and i tested it out like right here in a small area um and it takes that that laminate as you can see i can actually peel it back with my my finger a little bit and it'll come off um but uh um i took a red scotch bright pad to it and uh and it just took it off and it smoothed it right out with just very little effort so what i'm probably gonna do is is just scuff them up and get them nice and smooth um this part here only right here to all of them and then uh and then i'm gonna paint them and i'm gonna color match them to the same color as the maroon on my car and uh, i think that'll look pretty going on y'all so I had to make another video um, the other video that I made somehow didn't record it all and, and it, it cut off about half the video but in any case I just wanted to to finish what I was talking about so um, I'm thinking that that black with the chrome and when I color match the uh, the center part in here I think that'll look really really clean um, as I was saying before if I take a scotch bright pad and I already did a test area and this is actually pretty smooth now from the scotch bright pad even though it shows like this part is stained um, I can take my finger over it and it's actually pretty dang smooth um, so you know I, like I said I'm not going for like super super show quality um, but I do take pride in doing good work um, and so I'll get it as good as I can and then uh, smooth it all out. Then I'll mask everything off. So that's gonna be a pain in the butt masking all this off. Um, so I don't get overspray on it, but I'll take the time to do it. Um, it's still fairly cold here. Um, and we're still, we're in the rainy season of, uh, of the year um, before it starts to really get nice here. So still got some time before the car season actually uh, kind of kicks off.